This is Andrea and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for pecan pie bars. As always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box, but let me show you what you're going to need. For the crust portion, you're going to need flour, softened butter, sugar, finely chopped pecans, and salt. For the filling, you're going to need vanilla, room temperature eggs, chopped pecans, salt, flour, brown sugar, and dark corn syrup. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna work on the crust portion. So I am just adding my softened butter to the bowl. Next, I'm adding my sugar, salt, and flour. And I'm going to mix this on a medium speed Okay, so my dough is all mixed up and it looks a little crumbly and that is what you're looking for. Now you're gonna add in those finely chopped pecans and then stir it all together. Okay, so once you have your crust all combined, you're going to pour it into a parchment sheet lined nine by 13 pan. And just use your fingers to, pre to uh, firmly press it down. Okay, so I've got my crust in the pan. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this into the oven for 20 to 22 minutes or until that crust is golden brown. While our crust is baking, I'm gonna start on the filling. I've just added my brown sugar, flour, and salt to the bowl. And I am just going to whisk it all together. Next, I'm adding in my corn syrup vanilla, and my eggs. And once you get everything in there, you're just gonna mix it well. And finally, you're gonna add in your chopped pecans. Okay, so I just took the crust out of the oven. You can see that it's a nice, light, golden brown. I let it bake for 20 minutes. Now I'm just putting um, that topping right on top, or that filling, I should say, right on top. The crust is still hot right out of the oven, and you're just gonna spread that filling all around. Now you're gonna pop the pecan pie bars back into the oven for about 40 minutes or until that center is set. Okay, so I just took the bars out of the oven. I baked these for 40 minutes, and let me show you here. I'm jiggling the pan around. In the middle, as you can see, there's no jiggle, so that means that these are done. So I'm going to let these cool completely and then I'll cut them up so you all can see what they look like. Okay, so it's been several hours and here are the bars. These are so good, just as tasty as a pecan pie, but I love the fact that these bars can serve a crowd. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. And I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.